Hey, this is Presh Towalker. ABCD is a square. A point P is chosen uniformly at random in the interior of the square. Construct the angle APD. The question is what is the probability that angle APD is greater than 90 degrees? In other words, what is the probability that angle APD is an obtuse angle? I thank Numen for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I will first present a geometric trick to solve the problem, and then I will illustrate the solution using coordinate geometry. This is the long way, but it's an extremely important method to learn in case you didn't see the trick. So let's get started with the geometric trick. Construct a semicircle with diameter AD. Now suppose the point P is on the circumference of the semicircle. Then APD will be an inscribed angle of the semicircle, so it will be a right angle. So AP1D is equal to 90 degrees. This also means the other two angles of this triangle will sum up to 90 degrees, so P1AD plus P1DA is equal to 90 degrees. Now let's consider P2 that's in the exterior of the semicircle but in the interior of the square. Now look at this diagram, AP2D. Now P2AD is greater than P1AD and P2DA is greater than P1DA. So the sum of these two angles will be larger than 90 degrees. That means that AP2D must be less than 90 degrees because the sum of the three angles in a triangle must be equal to 90 degrees. So in other words, if we have a point P2 that's in the exterior of the semicircle but in the interior of the square, it will be an acute angle. So we just have one more case to consider. Let's suppose a point P3 is in the interior of the semicircle. Now construct this triangle. Now P3AD and P3DA are smaller than the corresponding angles P1AD and P1DA. So the sum of these two angles will be less than 90 degrees. Since the three angles in a triangle sum to 180 degrees, we can conclude that AP3D is greater than 90 degrees. So what does that mean? We need the point to be in the interior of the semicircle. So the probability the angle is greater than 90 degrees is equal to the area of the semicircle divided by the area of the square. Now let's say the semicircle has a radius that's equal to r, so the length of the square is equal to 2r. So the area of the semicircle is pi r squared divided by 2. The area of the square is equal to the square of 2r. We simplify this to get pi over 8, which is approximately equal to 39.3%. And that's one way to solve the problem. Congratulations if you saw the geometric trick and were able to solve the problem in the fastest way. But what if you didn't see the trick? Too often I hear a frustration from students. Well, mathematics is just a bunch of tricks. You either know the method to solve the problem or you don't know the method and there's nothing you can do. I'm here to tell you, don't give up. Many problems can be approached from multiple angles. If you don't see the clever trick to solve the problem, you might be able to work out the problem in a longer way. While it might take more work, it might lead you to some interesting mathematics. And in the history of mathematics, some discoveries have been made because people looked at a problem from a different angle. So in this vein, I'm going to present a solution with coordinate geometry. Now perhaps 90% of people have tuned out now because they solved the problem and they got the answer. But this method is useful because in case you didn't see the geometric trick, this will give you an approach to solve these problems and it'll show you some other interesting mathematics. So let's get started. We have our square. So let's set up a coordinate system where side AD is on the x-axis and side AB is on the y-axis. Let's say the square has a side length equal to 1, so that point D is at 1, 0. We have a point P in the interior, 
and we'll label this as x comma y. So we construct the triangle APD. By al kashis law of cosines, the square of the length of AD is equal to the square of the length of AP plus the square of the length of PD minus 2 times the length of AP times the length of PD times the cosine of the angle APD. We can rearrange this to solve for the cosine of the angle, and then we have the square of AP plus the square of PD minus the square of AD all over 2 times the length of AP times the length of PD. Now, if the angle is between 0 degrees and 90 degrees, the cosine of the angle will be positive. If the angle is exactly equal to 90 degrees, the cosine of the angle will be equal to 0. And if we have an obtuse angle between 90 degrees and 180 degrees, the cosine of the angle will be less than 0. So let's look at this formula, and we want to figure out the sine, whether the cosine of the angle is a positive, negative, or equal to 0. Now in the denominator, we have 2 times the length of AP times the length of PD. So this will be some positive number, greater than 0. So this won't affect the sine of the cosine of the angle. We know this is greater than 0, so we can just focus on the numerator. So we want to see whether AP squared plus PD squared minus AD squared is less than 0. That'll be the condition for an obtuse angle. We can now calculate this using the distance formula. We have x squared plus y squared plus the square of 1 minus x plus y squared minus 1 is less than 0. We can expand the binomial and collect like terms. So we have 2x squared minus 2x plus 2y is less than 0. We divide through by 2. So we have x squared minus x plus y squared is less than 0. So where do we go from here? Well, we use a standard trick of completing the square. So we will add 1 over 4 to both sides of the equation so that we can factor. We have the square of x minus 1 half plus y squared is less than the square of 1 half. This exactly describes the semicircle whose center is halfway along the side AD and has a radius that's equal to 1 half. So the condition is the point P has to be in the interior of this semicircle. So we figured out the geometric trick using this analytic method of coordinate geometry. So now, once again, the probability the angle is obtuse is equal to the area of the semicircle divided by the area of the square. This will be pi times 0.5 squared divided by 2 all over 1. And this works out to be pi over 8, which is approximately equal to 39.3%. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.